Okay, now I'm going to show you how I create a bar graph and add confidence intervals to my bar graph. Now, you probably have your own way of doing this, and that's fine. I'm just going to show you my way of doing it. And what I usually like to do is just take my means, because that's the only thing that's going on the bar graph, and then put them in a separate small table so I know the name of my, of my group. In this case, it's just group one, and the name of my other group, which is group two, and this is just some sample data, so this is just a practice width. And so I will highlight these, and then I'm going to insert a column graph. And I'm just going to go with the basic one. And there it is. Don't really need that. Okay. So here's group one and group two. Here's a mean of 7.1 and a mean of 10.5. Um, and you can figure out how to label your axes and all that fun stuff. What I want to show you is how to put the confidence intervals on the graph. So this can get a little bit tricky. Okay, so first you want to click on the bars themselves and then come up here to layout and then look for the option that says error bars. And we want to go all the way to the bottom here where it says more error bar options because we don't want any of these things right here. So more error bar options and we're going to make custom error bars and we're going to specify our value. Okay, now here's the tricky part because we want to put our confidence intervals on the graph. So I want to put this number on one bar and I want to put this number on the second bar. So I need a way to tell this that I want both numbers on both bars. So I'm going to delete this entire value here and I'm going to first click on this confidence and then I'm going to press shift. You can't see me do that, so just know that right now I'm pressing the shift key. And then I'm clicking on this number, so it highlights both of them together. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to click on the first confidence interval value. I'm going to press shift. I'm going to click on the second confidence interval value. And then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click close, and there are my confidence intervals. And then you can figure out how to label your axes and all that from there.